What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. As you can tell, we're in the shop working on this black Mazda Speed 6 again. Um, what we're doing today is we're going to attempt to take the fuel pump off Kendra's car, uh, clean the internals because I'm assuming they've never been cleaned before. Having clean fuel pump internals is always a good thing. So that's what we're going to do today. As you can see, we've got most of it ripped apart already. The intake is off. Um, a lot of the harness is disconnected and moved out of the way. This is the fuel pump right here. Um, we're not just going to take the spill valve off, which is this, for two reasons. Um, it's better just to take the whole pump off and clean the whole inside of it rather than just that. And I don't have a wrench big enough to fit on that, so we're not going to do that. Yeah, intake's off, wiring harness out of the way. We had a mishap with the intake. Kendra decided to break the nipple off it. Yeah. And uh, Spencer's over here giving it a, a glue job. So hopefully that works when it dries. Hopefully it's strong enough to hold the uh, hose back on. We've got one of our fuel lines disconnected here, the yellow one, and there is still the blue one down there that has to be disconnected. Then that will be it for fuel lines besides the drain, which is the steel line at the bottom. We've got to crack that nut and hopefully that doesn't give us too much of an issue because I know it did on mine. Then we'll take the three torque spits off, this fuel pump itself and it should come out, but it's easier said than done, and hopefully everything works out for us. I've been in my zone, bitch, I'm in my bag. I really don't know how I got the swag, how I got the juice. I'm just getting loose, I'm just warming up. This ain't nothing. Suffocating, I'm waiting and always hesitating. Kryptonite desires set my heart afire. Heart on fire, set my heart afire. Okay, so one other thing, if you guys are deciding to do this yourself and you're kind of following along with this video, uh, before you start doing anything, you're going to want to pull the, the fuse in your box for the circuit, which is right there, which is this blue fuse on a Mazda Speed 6. Um, and then you're going to start your car up and just let it die. Uh, it will waste all its fuel and it won't cycle any fuel through the pump. So when you take off your lines, you're not going to have fuel squirting out everywhere is at you. You will have some, so don't be scared of that. It will leak out a bit, but nothing too crazy. So we've got both our fuel lines off here. A uh, little fuel came out, no big deal. Just put some towels under it for a second. Uh, the next thing we did was this 20 mil, is it 19 mil nut right here is going to come off the steel line. Uh, make sure you put a zip tie underneath it on the line itself because that nut is going to want to drop right down to the bottom of the car once you get it loose. As you can see, there's a zip tie there. So we're going to take that off. Um, the Torx bits, there's three of these on the pump. Uh, one down on the back side here. You're going to want to undo those evenly, about a turn at a time, just so you don't, so the pump doesn't come off unevenly on you. So we've got ours all pretty well loosened up. So we're just gonna take this fuel line off and uh, the pump should come right off.
right, so we don't have a vise to uh, crack the internals out of the pump itself, so uh, we're gonna throw it around the ground, get Spencer to step on it, and uh, it's gonna be our vise. So this is gonna be sketchy. Oh, it actually worked! <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do when you don't got a voice. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, no voice, no problem. As the speed six, fuel pump internal. <coughs> Let's go! Okay, so we've got the pump disassembled here. As you can see, the internals go into here. As you watched us uh, crack that 18 mil nut open with uh, Spencer holding it with his foot. Good use of a vise. Um, here's the internals here. This is how they go back together. So this part would go inside like that. And then this rod will slide in. But before we put it all back together, we're going to clean everything with some non-chlorinated brake clean to clean everything down and uh, make sure it's all super clean before it goes back in. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but there is debris in there as well, so we're gonna clean inside that. Same with this, I don't think that's gonna pick up much, but there's debris all inside that housing, so we're gonna clean everything, then put it all back together and uh, go from there. Okay, so fuel pump back installed on the car as you just saw. Uh, Kendra's buttoning everything else up. All the harnesses and whatnot have to be reattached. Uh, then the intake, 
and hopefully this super glue job of the boost controller nipple holds it's pretty hard we used gorilla glue I don't know I have no idea if that's gonna work or not hopefully it does we're gonna find out, we're, yeah, we're gonna find out. We were gonna clean the EGR while we were down here, but um, Kendra might just get a delete kit for it instead of just cleaning it, but um, we'll decide on that later, I guess. Yeah, there's not much left to do besides throw everything back together and hopefully the car starts. <laughs> Car's back together. Fuel pump engaged there. And hopefully she starts. Let go of the gas. Oh, okay, cool. 